The section ID debate is a long and often very emotional debate within PSO. Players that develop their favorite character always end up developing some kind of bond to that ID and their main characters. But even though everybody could have every ID in the game, with a lot of their favorite classes, people still develop relationships around those IDs and classes. PSO is not a game that is shy of having some kind of exploited factor with it. Not all IDs were made equal in the game sense, and it is up to the future generation of PSO players to decide for themselves what they deem to be a balanced ID. Not everybody's ideas for what makes a balanced ID is exactly fair though, nor are they the same. There is almost no unified buff or nerf system for IDs within PSO, and any change could send the game spiraling down the pit of destruction if done improperly. Fortunately, We've had an amazing developer for GameCube PSO, Kayak, who has not only had a solid grasp on the game, but is also able to make the hard and easy decisions around ID balance. Which ID needs more of a tune-up than another ID? Why Bluefull seems to need more buffs and additions than an ID like, say, Whitele, which already has a robust lineup of solid A-tier items to hunt. Though despite the brilliant efforts made by Kayak and those he speaks with upon the matter of ID balancing, there's always going to be issues within, within the IDs. Not only that, but you will never find an ID that is 100% perfect in every way, nor an ID that is the absolute best, no matter how hard I shill for yellow bows. But that's a good thing though, as you don't want every single ID to be the absolute best ID, because then there's nothing to hunt for. If every ID is the same, then everybody's just going to hunt on the same ID, and nobody's ever going to do anything differently. I would never want the game to be that homogenized, to be that much the same. It would be boring and uninspired. Though the discussion about section ID changes is both emotional and frustrating, obviously people that play one specific ID want their ID to excel at everything and be the best. That's the best scenario. For every ID to have a vast array of amazing options and be perfect. But that's not balance. That's over buffing something. With section ID balance specifically in mind, you want to make sure that you're not just adding another option over and over until the section ID is really good and then move on to the next ID. That's bad design though. I think that it's okay for an ID to have a tier list. I think that it's okay for us to have a tier list for all the IDs and to definitively tell which ID is good or bad over another ID. Recently though, three IDs specifically went over some solid changes. Marino, Pinkle, and Blueful. And the reason being is that those IDs specifically needed some work and love to make them somewhat viable. Before, I'd have placed those three IDs to be the definitive trash tier IDs that nobody should ever, ever try to get unless they're looking for some niche or hyper specific hunts that won't last you a while. I play on a Greeno specifically quite often, and I'm willing to admit that before the changes to the ID, that Greeno was absolutely garbage. And, I, and the only reason that I was hunting Greeno was because. I was hunting handgun gold, still am, and that's not a good hunt, so I'm not going to count that as being a good positive thing for gold, or being a good positive thing for greeno. Getting gold is not positive. In my opinion, for an eye to be good, or at least viable in some way I suppose, you're going to need to give it a good amount of options to hunt for. Replace the relentless amounts of trash for stuff that is not only worth hunting for. Sorry, that is not only not worth hunting for, but is also reasonable to hunt. I take Skyly in this regard quite eagerly. Obviously, Skyly has a decent number of really good Ubers to hunt for. One of them being the best in Sloth Sword for two hunter classes. But the reason Skyly is such a widely popular and accepted ID is that it even despite not counting SJS, you've inherently still got an absurd number of solid mid-tier to A-tier weapons to hunt for, all of which are perfectly reasonable. 
Skyly is a very well balanced ID in that regard. If you don't want to hunt for your definitive Uber in the form of SJS, you have plenty of other really good items to go get. That balance of Ubers to solid mid tier to A tier items to hunt in combination with each other helps create a really good ID. But on the contrary to that, I think IDs that are made up of nothing but Ubers are inherently bad IDs because you don't have anything to hunt for. But as a contrary to that, IDs like Redria that have nothing but solid mid tier to A tier items and almost no Ubers are actually very successful IDs. They have a lot of good things that are worth hunting for, even if you don't have a lot of Ubers. I'll close my argument out with this. Your ID shouldn't be the best ID. No ID should be. Your ID should have enough good and bad things to hunt for to balance out not only itself, but also balance out whatever else it competes with. Whitel, despite it having a million Disc of Raymans, should not get rid of those millions of Disc of Rayman drops, because if you did, then you would only run Whitel because it would be the best episode 1 ID. Or, if you happen to remove Skyly's vast array of good mid-tier to A-tier options, and just replace it with a bunch of Ubers, it would just be a worthless ID, because then Skyly would have nothing reasonable to hunt for. It would have nothing but really difficult Ubers to go get. All IDs should have interesting aspects to hunt for with them, but no ID should be the single best ID. ID balancing is about keeping both good and bad in check. Trying to remember, try, please try to remember that, please. When you're when you're complaining about your ID why it's good or bad, try to remember that you need the, the both good and the bad. There's more to an ID than just the good of the ID. Please try to remember that. Thank you for watching. See you next time.